Okay, so let's take a look at this pepper. And this is all I know about it. I don't know any more than what you see. SRTSL, that's what it's called. Don't know what that means, don't know what it is, but that's what it is. And I didn't get a lot of peppers off it from this previous summer that just went by. But next year, because I'm going to keep this plant alive through the winter, I should be able to double or triple my pods on this. And hopefully we'll be able to get some seed available to the public. So I'll just list it on my website, but I'm not going to have seed available because I simply did not get enough of these pods. There were more pods on here than what you see these three, but they got attacked by insects and I just removed them because once the insects eat a hole in the pod, they're basically garbage. Uh, the seeds get moldy, they, they're rotten. They're, you can't even save it for seed. Not only you're not gonna eat it, you know, you're just not gonna get the seeds out of it. So I had to pull those pods and I lost quite a few of those pods because of that reason. So I wish I knew what insect that was that was actually doing this because I'd go out of my way to really fix his wagon, but uh, this is like a rare plant to me, and I want the seeds if possible so I can grow them again year in and year out. So let's take a closer look at the pod. Put my hand behind here somehow. Try to give you a nice clear look. Now I'll do a photo shoot on this so you can get clear images on this. This camera really don't want to focus in this low light. So... But generally, all these pods seem to look the same way. They got this little tail that shoots off to the side. They all do this. Very strange looking type of pepper that's coming out of this thing. I've never seen anything like this before. This is definitely bizarre. Um, very healthy plant. Very healthy uh, seeds, genetics that came off of this plant. Uh, this is generally a broadleaf plant. Though after you grow for about two two or three years you won't see leaves like this anymore they'll be very small and eventually they get so small that they are probably just you know maybe an inch or two in size and they generally will never get this big again this is only on their first year grow and let's see the stem on it it's smooth but it's a little bit raspy so it's not waxy smooth it's got a little bit of raspiness to it it's got ridges around it there's absolutely no purpling on it, except for a little bit here and there by the nodes. Okay, and you might see a little bit there, if you could even see that. Um, that's really about it. There's really no, there's nothing else I can show you. There's no flowers. There's, I'm surprised it still has leaves because this thing's basically been in the dark. There's no windows around here, and the only light it gets is the light that I turn on from the fluorescent up there. And that's it. So hopefully we can keep these alive all the way through the winter and then we can get some more seed out of this. So, all right, so let's take it outside and give it a taste test. Be right back.